Folks, this video is about a software that really helps me with my businesses and my clients' businesses to digitalize processes, to simplify processes, they have many, many positive effects on the business. And um, this is something that I usually share with my clients. Um, but today I felt like yeah, sharing this because it's not nothing, nothing, uh, nothing is secret or anything like that. It's just a simple tool or a piece of software that really, really helps. Um, and if you didn't hear about that so far, it's called Loom. Yeah. So why is Loom so helpful in a lot of cases? Yeah. As I said, Loom has helped me and my businesses and those of my clients to simplify many processes and digitalize them in a way. Yeah. And by the way, I don't get any promotion from Loom, so this is a pure recommendation from my heart. I don't get anything from that. Uh, I'm just really like to use it. So here's a couple of examples how Loom can help uh, you and basically your consulting business. Yeah, client introductions. Yeah, you can use Loom to introduce yourself to potential clients, personalize video message, add human touch. It basically sends a, a, a personal tone, right? So, a, a, a basic example for the more the beginner level, level if you're applying for projects, uh, your recruiters or platforms, so you're basically working with CVs, let's put it like that, um, you can add a loom to a personalized CV uh, for a specific project. That's what we are teaching our clients as well. Um, you can do that for specific projects. You can, you can also do that um, if, you're, if you're basically working as a company. So maybe you have a company intro or something like that. Um, you can use it in very, very, uh, a lot of cases. You can send out quotes to direct customers, add a, a loom for explanatory reasons um, as well. So this is super, super helpful and can really, really um, make the business uh, be more understood in terms of what you're sending out because written and spoken language obviously um, work together very, very fine in combination. Yeah? So this uh, client intro. Uh, other, other example from, a, uh, from real life is project updates. Yeah? Instead of sending, uh, you know, kick ass, long emails, status reports, you can simply record a loom yeah, to update look, your clients on projects, yeah? um, on the progress, whatever you're doing, show them the latest developments, discuss challenges, provide solutions. So it's very, very interactive and it's very, very helpful for a lot of clients in this case. Yeah? So you can really, really add value on the project updates, additionally to what you're doing. And so I'm never saying replace anything, I'm saying adding, yeah? Training and onboarding is a very, very good example. Train clients, train employees on new software, new processes, new tools via Loom. It's more engaging yeah, than written instructions and ensures better understanding because if you're here and read something, your brain processes much more thoroughly. You know? I'll have an, uh, an example on this uh, while I'm sharing the screen, obviously. Explaining complex concepts. So since we're in the IT, yeah, it's complex, right? What we are doing. So simplify complex technical concepts or challenges by using Loom. Again, visual explanations resonate better with clients, stakeholders or employees. Yeah, that simple. Feedback and reviews. So request a feedback from clients, from employees by sharing Loom videos. They can respond uh, with, uh, with uh, video comments or basically creating an interactive feedback loop yeah? instead of sending back and forth emails. Yeah? Testing and quality insurance, great example um, of what our clients are using. Yeah? Use Loom to document your test cases and increase engagement and understanding for the quality insurance team. You can improve the quality, the testing quality on the whole by combining written and again spoken feedback on test cases. No. Another example is what I'm giving here uh, is, is basically sharing reports or dashboards. Yeah? Collaboration with remote teams in general. Yeah? If your team is distributed, Loom, and we're all working digitally these days, yeah? Loom can bridge the gap, yeah? share ideas, brainstorm, collaborate asynchronously. 
So what I want to show you here, basically, and I'll give you some more examples. This is how I structure one of my companies. Yeah? So you can see that we have different kind of folders, basically, sometimes even uh, uh, illustrating the, 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 the different uh, business departments. You can see Digistore as a payment provider, Loom for Loom explanation, a content, share my content, like right now, LinkedIn report, ads, archive, video course, it's members area, internal training, it's 55 videos, it's some, in this case, if someone is uh, uh, um, being welcome to our company, he or she needs to watch 55 videos before starting, like starting to work productively. So quite a lot. Sales, HR quotes, coaching reviews, and so on and so on. I have another example, which I want to share. This is about a client uh, using Loom, obviously. Um, you can see that this client has successfully sent out an email containing explanatory videos via Loom for Power BI reports, dashboards, workspaces. It's a, uh, uh, obviously a running client uh, project. This went to 120 people. So you can see, I of course blurred out a lot. Um, but the point I'm trying to make is how much time can you save for you and your clients? Think about the budget of your clients. It's incredibly efficient. At the end, it's, it's better. So if you, if you wanted to share this to 120 people, you would obviously have smaller groups. You would have to do it repetitively. Instead of doing that on-site, for example, repetitively, why don't you do it simply via loop? You can repeat the watching over and over and over again. Now, again, so efficient. Yeah, and this is how I'm using it uh, with, with in our company, with my clients. It's super, super, super uh, beneficial. Again, I don't get anything uh, using Loom or promoting Loom. It's just a real life example on how we use Loom and our, uh, and our clients as well. If you want to know more about how to digitalize your business processes, for example, with Loom, we have many more tools to do that. Dear me to work Loom and we'll take a look together. But for now, I really, really urge you, create a Loom account. It's for free. You could use it long time for free. Upgrading means more workspaces and so on. You don't need that at the beginning. And anyway, it just costs like 10, 15 bucks. So it's a no brainer. So I hope you seeing using Loom like our clients and I'll see you in the next video.